Hey everybody, it's Jake from Wild Academy. Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about multidimensional arrays. Now I talked about this a little bit at the end of the last tutorial, but uh, it's the dream within a dream concept that they explore in the movie Inception. Now the definition of it, that's not the definition of Inception. Um, the name comes from them uh, inserting dreams or sorry, memories into the person that's dreaming. But uh, I thought I should give another example, which is the, uh, the Manti Roshka doll or Russian doll, where you put dolls inside of dolls. And uh, I read up a little bit on these. It's actually really cool. It's got a really cool history. Uh, so this was the original one that was made. It was made in 1890, I believe. And uh, interesting how they build these. They actually have to use a, a single piece of wood for each individual or not for each individual thing, but like this whole set has to be from the same piece of wood because uh, wood contract, contracts differently and it has different moisture properties. And when you're building them, when you're cutting them out, you have to do that at the same time so that when you put them all together, if they shrink and expand, uh, they still will fit together. So anyway, it's really cool. Just thought I'd share that with you. Throw some colors into this uh, tutorial. So let's go ahead and get started uh, with this. Let's go over to our Komodo IDE. And the first thing we're gonna do is just, we're just gonna create an array. And I don't, again, I don't know what we named this array. Let's just do uh, users. I believe that's what I used anyways, users. We're gonna set it equal to array. And now instead of putting items in this array, we're gonna put arrays in this array. That, makes sense if you think about it but uh, let's tab in a little bit here so I'm going to do two spaces in from the A and the R this is how I'm going to structure it so it looks better visually so let's do array and in this array we're going to put in uh, the names we're going to we're going to build an associative array here so what we're going to do is we're going to do the the name let's just do name and then we're gonna to point to what their name is gonna be. For now, I'm just going to put a comma right there. In fact, I'll do that. Okay, and then I'm gonna come down here. We're gonna do their age. I'd put a comma here. And then below that, we're gonna do, what did we do in the book? Gender, so we'll do gender. Okay, so from here, we have a single array, and you'll see from these parentheses, like this closes this array right here, this parenthesis closes this array and opens this array right here, so we don't need that right there. And so now, instead of filling this out, what I'm gonna do is, because we're gonna be using the same key on each one, I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna come below here. I'm gonna paste it in, just like that, okay? And come down below it. I'm gonna paste it in just like that. All right. In fact, I'm gonna add an extra space right here. And things. There we go. Okay. So let's get the whole thing in here. All right. So now we have a variable that's equal to a single array, but there's three different arrays within it. Okay. So these are these are your elements individually. So now we're going to just, we're just going to come in here and we're going to plug in our names. So here we'll just do Kim. Down below this we'll do uh, the age of Kim will be 34. And the gender is going to be female. All right. So the thing I need to uh, also point out is that you need to be separating these arrays with commas, just like that, okay? Because you separate items in an array. Remember, if like if I were to do uh, the number 34, I would separate it, right? Between the 54, just like that. So if these arrays are individual elements in the array, we have to make sure that we separate them. So one there, and we don't really need one there, but just these two right here. Coming up right there, I gotta just close that right there. So let's go down to the next one. We're gonna do uh, Megan here. And then we're gonna do her age will be what, 19, 19. And she'll be female as well. All 
Now we'll come down to the third user. His name is going to be uh, John. And his age will be, let's do 67. And his gender is going to be male. Okay, so now we just need to come down here and add a semicolon at the end of the overall array. So this is the full array in its entirety. And let's come down here and we're just going to print it out. So print R. And we'll do array or users. That's right. Go ahead and save it and run it. We can pull it up here and we can see how it looks. So obviously an array and then zero is equal to an array. And then these are the elements within there. Okay. All right. So if we wanted to target a specific element within the array, we could do print, we could do users here and we use the index number. Let's say we're going to go for the second array in our list. So we would use one here because it's zero, one, two, remember it starts at zero. We're gonna come outside of it and we're gonna target age. Okay, semicolon there. Go ahead and save it and run it. You'll see right down here, it's really small now, but it returns 19. Okay. Come in here, we could we could, let's just say we wanted to get the age from the third array to save. It returns 67. So we'll come back out and there's the full array again. All right, guys, that's it for today. I'm going to try and keep each topic to its own video so that later on it can be kind of used as an encyclopedia. You can come back, look at the channel, you know, or look at the playlist and then just pick out, you'll see from the title what is discussed in that specific video. And, and then you can click it and watch it instead of having to Know, find the video, then look through each video's timestamps to figure out what it is exactly what you're looking for. So yeah, I'm just I'm trying to create a resource for later on for you. Okay, again, my name is Jake from Wild Academy, and thanks for watching. Like the video if you like it. If you have any comments or questions, please leave those down below, and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And I will talk to you tomorrow, or I guess for me it's tomorrow, but probably right away for you. Talk to you later.